Tis the season for holiday celebrations and gift giving, but for Salvation Army Lieutenant Caitlin Lyle, this time of year is all about giving back and helping others do the same. I love standing. This is my favorite time of the year. It's crazy, it's hectic, but it's fun. And it's a joy to see people and to have those interactions. I love standing at the kettle. She, along with six other bell ringers, are hoping the Salvation Army of Burlington meets its goal of raising $50,000 by Christmas Eve. So far, the organization is just over halfway there, but getting there hasn't come without its challenges. A shortage of bell ringers has meant having to push back the dates and times volunteers could be out ringing. We're making do with what we uh, have, and we're hoping that more people want to join us to ring for what we have left. The Salvation Army will be holding its ninth annual Red Kettle Blitz Day on Thursday. The local branches will compete to see which one can raise the most money. Last year, the northern New England region raised just over $1.5 million, an effort officials say could not be possible without the generosity of people like Julie McDonald. There's just so many less fortunate people that can use the help, especially this time of year. You see so many people sad and down and a lot of times it's because of money. In Vermont, bell ringers can be found at the Walmart stores in Williston and St. Albans. There will also be a Salvation Army rep at the Shaw's in South Burlington. Anyone hoping to donate can also contribute virtually on the Salvation Army's Facebook page. The Salvation Army over in Plattsburgh is also getting ready for the Red Kettle Blitz and they're looking to raise about $80,000 before their Christmas Eve deadline. And you can find them over at the Champlain Center Mall, Sam's Club or the Market 32 in Plattsburgh. We're live in Burlington this morning, Adrian Pastor, NBC5 News.